Hi, uh, my name is Frederick Noren. And I'm Jose Falcon. And we're here today to talk about Machine, uh, which is a machine learning ID that we've been working on. Uh, but before we jump into a demo, I just uh, wanted to quickly talk about why we're building this. And it all started out with me running different machine learning experiments and projects. And I noticed a couple of things that just took a lot of time away from the actual problems that I wanted to solve. Uh, one of the biggest ones was just plain visualization and debugging and just understanding what was happening with my model and where and the different nodes. Um, another was just keeping track of my experiments. So I just wanted something that was a bit closer to the underlying uh, model that I was working with, uh, something a bit more visual um, that wasn't going through another programming language. Um, to get to that, I just wanted to get to that directly. So I started hacking on a tool, um, and that tool is what then grew into what is now Machine, which uh, Falcon will now demo. Well, let's get started building a simple project with Machine. We're going to build a network that finds mustaches in a single Rembrandt image. And to do that, we need to first import the image into the app. Once we have the image imported, we can use the inspect feature to see what it looks like. Then we can start to flush out the model by using a single convolution function. And we're going to use three 5x5 five five filters for training. Just like we inspected the Rembrandt image, we can also inspect the filters in the convolution function. And in this case, the output here is about half the size as it should be. So let's make them be the same size. To train the model, we need to know how well we're doing at finding mustaches. And we're going to use a labeled image that tells us where the mustache is in the original. Then we can compare the output of the convolution function with the expected output. Finally, we can reduce that to a single value and pump it into an optimizer for training. So one, now that we have the basic network in place, we can create a new experiment and start a training session. So let's do that and see what happens. Okay, after training for a little while, it doesn't look like it's getting any better at finding the mustache. The output of the convolution function isn't really approaching the, out the expected output. And maybe that's because the mustache is, is bigger than the filters. In our case, the filters were only five by five, and we can increase them uh, to say 25 by 25 to see if that helps. Uh, once we have the new filter size, we can create a new experiment and run a new training session to see if that actually helps. Let's do that and see what happens. Okay, so after training for a while, this is starting to look much better than the previous experiment. The output from the convolution is really starting to look like the expected output, which means that it's finding the mustache in the original image. But let's push that a little further and see what happens if we move the image around. We can import a new image and see if it can find the mustache. Once we have the moved image imported, we can copy over the convolution function then we can use inspect to see what the output is. And in this case, we see the white dot in the bottom right hand corner, which means it's finding the, the mustache. So everything in the machine is uh, synced to the cloud. So you can always go back to something that you did before, or you can access your project from another computer. So we can jump back to the previous experiment, and we can see what the old cost graph looked like. We can see the old filter size, and we can see what the old model looked like. So we've built a very basic project um, in machine with a single convolution function, but there's a lot of other ways we could expand on this model. And because machine is built on top of TensorFlow, anything we do in TensorFlow, we can also do inside a machine. All right, thanks Falcon. Um, we've had a lot of fun so far with uh, just hacking to get, to get a different models in machine and just playing around with it. 
Uh, and we're now starting to look for other people who are also interested in this. So if this sounds like something that's for you, um, just follow this link or click the link in the description to sign up for our upcoming alpha. Thanks very much for watching.